that I know You're hurt and you can't let go It's not your fault and you don't deserve All the bad and the hurt I know you tried so hard Ooh, I know you've done your part It's not fair You did your time How much longer will you suffer in this life? But don't give up Just hold on tight It'll be alright All your life you've tried To be a good man inside Did everything that you thought you should Didn't seem to do you any good Good morning guys, I'm Bethany and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I make faith and lifestyle content. I'm 22, I live in Alabama with my husband. We've been married for almost five months, which is crazy. And yeah, that's a little bit about me. So today I'm doing like a full on like YouTube work day. So I'm going to get ready and film a couple videos and edit probably one of them to get it up tomorrow. I'm also gonna make maybe like a new iced coffee beverage later today, hanging out with Ethan tonight. I think we're just gonna have an easy supper, but I just wanna take you along for like a day when I'm like getting ready filming a lot of content. I might film some TikToks, who really knows, but I had my quiet time this morning and I've been sitting here eating breakfast, watching a YouTube video, kind of waiting for the sun to come out a little bit because it's kind of gloomy, but I think the clouds, it's like bright enough from the window that I can film a video because I obviously don't want to film if it's super dark, but I think we're going to be, it's going to be bright enough, but um, my quiet time is so good this morning. My devotion, I do the New Morning Mercies devotional, was talking about how nothing can separate you from God's love, which was just so good. And then I was reading in Luke, because that's where I'm currently reading in the Bible. It was the parable of the parable of the lost son and how the son tells his father he wants his inheritance. The father gives it to him and he goes and just spends it on wild living. And then he decides he wants to come back as a servant. He's like, well, surely I can come back and be a servant in my father's house. But the father sees him far from far away and runs up to him and is like, no, you're my son. We're going to celebrate, like get the fattened calf and let's celebrate you coming back. Because you're now you are lost and now you're found. And it's just a picture of Jesus running after us. It's just such a good story. And I have obviously read it before, but it was just so powerful this morning. And I really loved it. So anyways, just wanted to share a little bit about that. That's what's going on. I watched Danielle's New York City Week in My Life. Love her New York City content. And I honestly was like waiting on my camera to charge because I forgot to charge it last night. And I don't have another battery, which I should get one. But anyways, that's my little ramble for this morning. I'm about to do my makeup and my hair and just pick out an outfit. And by that, I mean pick out the top portion of my outfit because it's all you're gonna be able to see and film. I'm very excited. Also, I decided to do my quiet time in the living room again today and I enjoyed it so much like I lit like on my candle and like chilled on my couch and it's just so nice I've been doing it in my room but I just love doing it in my living room I don't know why I haven't been doing it so I'm gonna stop rambling probably gonna listen to gals on the go podcast because they come out on Wednesdays and get ready and then get to film and it's gonna be a very productive day let's go I would be up waiting for you if you had to leave I filmed a couple videos, filmed two Bible studies, which is great. 
feeling good and then I just went ahead and sat down and imported the footage for the first one and started editing it because I want it to go up tomorrow so honestly I have most of the editing done I can never figure out if I'm just a fast editor at this point or if I'm just not doing much editing because I feel like it only took me a couple hours to do most of the editing I don't remember when I finished filming honestly it took me an hour actually because I was filming till almost 11 so it took me an hour to edit but I pretty much just cut through the clips and then added like some text on top. I just like to kind of up the editing on my Bible studies. Obviously they are easier to edit because I'm just sitting and talking. But I like to add the text and the Bible verses that I'm saying on the screen. So it's easier to read. It's more engaging. You can easily read what I'm saying. And more fun to watch I feel like. So that's what I've been doing. And I'm pretty much like kind of done with it. Pretty much all I have to do is like watch it through. And like make sure it's kind of lined up right. And I don't need to cut out anything else. So. That's what I've been doing. Feeling super productive. I'm probably about to eat lunch. Might make a TikTok, do some stuff after that. I always say this, but I'm the most productive in the morning. So I don't know how much more I will get done the rest of the day, but I'm feeling very productive. It's also gotten to be sunny outside, which is exciting. I need to open the windows or the blinds. I'm just gonna eat leftovers from last night. We had chicken, barbecue chicken. I made it in a vlog before. It's delicious. So I'm gonna eat that for lunch and just watch a YouTube video. I need to check my to-do list. Film Bible study video vlog. So I need to make a TikTok and I want to make a cute coffee recipe and maybe take a cute photo of it for my Instagram. I also kind of want to make like a, maybe do like a carousel of just some fun fall photos. So maybe I'll do that. We shall see. I feel like it's a very like content heavy day, but I'm feeling very productive. And I thought it would be fun to kind of take you through like this is what I do on days where I'm just doing a bunch of YouTube stuff. So that's pretty much it. In the same spot. I opened the windows and I ate lunch, but I've honestly been sitting here. It's like one. I've been sitting here for quite a minute making a TikTok. It's crazy how I feel like the simplest of TikToks. Hello there. There's Rosie. The simplest of TikToks take the longest. So I was doing the like, yo bro, who got you smiling like that trend. I've been wanting to do it for a while and I finally did. And I was going to do like cute videos of Ethan, but I was trying to do it. And every video I would like, I would screen record the video or like do the green screen of the video and it would lag. And I was like, I don't know what's wrong. So I just did some cute photos of like us laughing or like cute photos of him. Wedding photos from our engagement, things like that. And it's a super cute TikTok. If you want to go see that, you can follow me on TikTok. I've been having a lot of fun doing like the trends. I did the trend where you show your wedding dress when you said yes to the dress and on your wedding day. That was a really cute one. I also did the one of like the sometimes all I think about you. It's Rosie and then her as a puppy. So I've just been doing a lot of those. Then I do montages and stuff, but it's just a good time to like hop in on the trends of TikTok. I also really want to do the trend where it's like a little dance, but you like pretend like you don't care. And then in the middle of it, you put your arm up. If you're on TikTok, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I really want to do that trend, but I don't know. Also, there's a couple others that I want to do that I just don't have any ideas for. Like, my mom said it was okay or mama said it was okay. That trend where you say, like, why are you doing this? And then it's like, mama said it was okay. But I don't have any ideas for that. So, anyway. So, that's what I've been doing. That was on my list. My to-do list. It's crazy. All my to-do list was making a TikTok. But when people come to my channel, I want them to be able to follow my Instagram and my TikTok. And there to be content to watch on there. So, I've been trying to post a TikTok every day. and be really consistent with it. I want to make a coffee here soon. But I've literally not drink much of my water so i need to do that because if i don't if i don't drink like at least half of this i'm gonna feel so dehydrated my tongue's just gonna feel gross when i drink coffee because like i don't know if everybody's like this is everybody like this but like if i just like don't have any water and drink coffee like i just feel dehydrated anybody else anyways also i just love when i make tiktoks it's just a great time i also do kind of like book talks over there which is fun but i haven't been reading as much so i feel like i posted a ton of my fave books that are you know for tiktoks but i could do one of like faith books because i've only done one faith book one i think i did the best faith books ever yeah so maybe i'll do another tiktok showing the best faith books and get that ready for tomorrow so i have a tiktok to do tomorrow but that's what's going on just a fun content day i honestly really want to make more reels on instagram but i don't want to post like the, my tiktoks on instagram i want to like make it like dedicated for instagram reels but it's kind of hard because i'm like making a tiktok but i really want to make an instagram reel so maybe i'll do that today with my coffee i'll make like a fun reel i don't know it's also hard because i'm like film i'm vlogging it and like doing it all on different platforms at the same time it's quite difficult i've been talking for six minutes so anyways i'm gonna shut up maybe make a book tiktok of my favorite faith books anyways that's all i will talk to you in a bit
wanna take you there apparently always sitting in this spot but i made a coffee in my new glass that i showed in my fall shop and decorate with me it's so cute it was literally a dollar at the dollar tree so if you have a dollar tree near you you should go and see if they have a glass like this but i thought it was so cute i made an instagram story and i also was making a reel i don't really know what footage i get of me making it on here because i was making a reel at the same time but that's what i've been working on it's literally now like three o'clock and i'm spending a good amount of time like putting the recipe in the notes then i'm also trying to like make sure it's gonna look cute on my feed because i'm gonna also post it to my feed but i've never made an instagram reel and shared it to my feed of like a coffee recipe i just share a bunch of like random coffee recipes on my story and so i thought it would be fun to like actually make a reel of how i make it and like kind of a show because obviously it's a cute little montage but in the caption i put like the ingredients so i did a tablespoon of brown sugar a teaspoon of vanilla extract and then just oat milk i used a single shot so it's kind of extra sweet but if you used a double shot it would be like the perfect amount of sweetness it's just super good i personally am not the biggest fan of pumpkin so this is kind of like my like fall treat honestly like i feel like my cover photo keeps screwing up and i'm afraid i'm gonna post the reel and then it's not gonna have the cover photo and i can't like redo it and i'm gonna be so upset but anyways rosie you're in the way also i don't know if i said this i don't remember the last time i filmed i edited a lot rosie you're in front of my camera I edited a good bit of this vlog and I feel like I'm like my eyes are like tired of looking at a computer because I've like been editing so much today but my coffee is super good I really recommend trying out this recipe and I've kind of planned to make more like recipes this fall with like cinnamon and different things like that but brown sugar is my favorite so it is way later now and I've just been chilling I finished like I imported the past few clips of this vlog and kind of edited them I hung out with Ethan a little bit we ate supper, I just made, so heated up some barbecue, very easy. And you can just buy it at a grocery store. It's like a local barbecue place and it's like kind of, I guess it's like vacuum sealed. And so you can just heat it up and eat it. So that's what we did for supper. And I've just been chilling watching YouTube. I really want to like work some more on my computer, but I need to like stop. I can do it tomorrow. So that's pretty much what a day in my life looks like. Just like a full content day for YouTube. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun just taking you around kind of like specific things that I do. I made a new book TikTok and I posted the Instagram reel of me making my coffee recipe. So that's pretty much it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I've been posting a ton over there as you can tell. And yeah, I think that's it. So I'll see you very soon for my next video. Bye.